Hi there, I'm Dallas Campbell, and I've come to talk to Thatcham Research to try and understand a little bit more about the safe adoption of automated driving. And to steer me through all of that, I'm joined by Matthew Avery. Matthew, it's great to see you. Good to see you. Now, we're here on this lovely controlled test track, so I'm hoping you're going to say it's OK for me to drive. Yep, sure. Jump in. Brilliant, thank you. So the first thing to make clear is that these aren't driverless cars, are they? No, we would call this automated driving. So the cars that you and I are going to drive are going to be regular cars, but they're going to have a capability of driving themselves. I'll have a button on them, you press the button and off you go. So I, I couldn't press this button and then crawl into the back and have a sleep or reach and start reading my book and then uh, read it. And <laughs> no, no, you couldn't. The first generation systems are going to limit you to only using this infotainment system to watch a film or do some email. It's got a driver monitoring system to okay. know that you're there ready to take that control. So what's the point then if I can't go to sleep or read a book? Like why don't I just drive? Well even these systems are going to take some of the burden away from monotonous long motorways and things like that and it's going to make the driving easier and safer. So can we have a go? Can I experience what the autonomous mode is like? Yep. So there's a switch at the end of your stalk. If okay. you press that, nothing, nothing's happening. It's not going to let you do automation because you've not watched initiation video. Okay. Sort of like terms and conditions. This vehicle is fitted with a highway automated driving function. So we'll go up to about 30 miles an hour. Okay. And you can see it's now saying autonomous mode available. available. Okay, so I've just pressed the button. So press the button. Autonomous drive active. Oh, that's so weird. But uh, the car is looking after itself. That's amazing. The car's now looking after itself. Okay. The key point here is that it will only allow automation when the vehicle can handle it. But if it's heavy rain or snow or fog or road works, things it can't predict, Robert. it's going to say to you, you must take back control. Okay. Active road work ahead. So it's warning me there's a road works ahead. It's now warning you. Okay, so if I wanted to take over, if I want to take take over. what it's trying to do is make sure you want to take control. So if you just sort of grab the wheel and move it a little bit, Autonomous drive deactivated. Okay. So it's only going to let you take control when the driver monitoring system says, yes, you're looking ahead and you've got your hands on the wheels. What happens, for example, if she you know, asks me to take control and I just point blank refuse, I just don't do anything? Well, let's try it. She's now got control. She can see that there's roadworks ahead. And because this is the, the earlier system, that's not sophisticated enough, she can't Active handle road these roadworks. <laughs> and I'm just going to ignore her. Drive not available. So she's Please telling take you. Over. Take over now. Now she'll now begin to oh slow my God. the vehicle down and warn you. That little jerk of the brake was just to get my attention. Yeah, get your attention. Now she's decided you're not available, you must be ill. So it will pull the car over so you're that's not in oh a my running God, that's line. Amazing. So you don't just stop in the middle of the road, it'll actually work out a safe spot and take you there. That's right. Some vehicle manufacturers are saying, well, stopping in the middle of the road could be safe enough. But Well, I mean, here it makes sense. You could stop in the middle of the road. We're on a, we're on a test track. But if you're on the, you know, the fast lane of a busy motorway. Yeah, if you're on the fast lane of a busy motorway, this could happen. And therefore, we're advocating that vehicle manufacturers ensure that their vehicle can move over and keep the system safe, keep the driver safe. If the driver's not responding, pull over to the side of the road. Uh, that is really, really impressive. I mean, do you think we're going to get to a point where we will be able to drive cars and do things like fall asleep in the back or whatever it is we want to do and be safe? Yes, this vehicle is set up at the moment to demonstrate the near turn 2021 okay. um, automation. However, this vehicle can show you what it's going to be like in 2025. Okay. So if you'd like to have another go. I'd love to have another go. Back to the future. <laughs> Autonomous drive active. And now the car can handle all the situations. Really? So it knows that the road works ahead, but it doesn't require you to do anything. I trust you. It can handle it. I'm going to read my book yeah. while you chat on. And the vehicle's ah. automatically braking for the roadworks. 
And this is the sort of technology that you need to keep people safe. This is safe automation. Matthew, thank you so much. Absolute pleasure. Thanks. Brilliant. Ah, might have a little sleep.